lot of uh, a lot of Kennedy stuff on uh, TV. Yeah, I saw you tweeting about that. It was, uh, I guess, you know, 50th uh, anniversary of his assassination. Well, soon, something like that. 22nd, isn't it? 22nd, well, is it? Yeah, like November 22nd. Yeah, yeah. We're still 11 days out. So they were playing a lot of stuff, and uh, they had this one show. It was pretty cool. On um, what the hell was it on? Smithsonian, one of those great, great channels, and uh, it was a bunch of footage. Video and film footage of from the time that really doesn't get seen that often. Uh, a lot of the interviews uh, with the law enforcement and um, nice. and even you know where where they bring Lee Harvey out for the for the fucking perp walk pretty much, and they're just chatting with him. And, and the thing that amazed me the most was the access the media had yeah. to everything back then. They it was like you couldn't shut them out of anywhere. Like if if they put a mic in front of you and you were a public official, law enforcement, or or the criminal himself, you felt compelled to talk to these people. Like like oh, if you don't talk to me, you got something to hide. Or it was amazing. And and the fact that there is Lee Harvey Oswald professing his innocence and saying how he wants a lawyer and stuff. Like just to to hear that guy's voice. If there was a guy that tried to assassinate a president in this day and age. You would you wouldn't hear a word from him. You wouldn't get access to him. You wouldn't. It's it's amazing uh, what happened back then. Isn't it weird that he he was saying that he was innocent and all? Because oh, yeah. if you're gonna you know kill the president, wouldn't you want the whole world to know your hatred for the guy? You'd think, especially right after. What he thought he was gonna get away with it. It was this. It was exactly when they got him too. He didn't like later say right. I didn't do this. He was adamant that he did not fucking do that. Don't you find uh, that strange? Yeah, it's a little odd, but he was an odd guy. That's what makes me also, though, have a problem with conspiracy, because if mm. they, if Oswald was some kind of patsy and there was all these, why would they have allowed him to be taken into custody? Like, he went he went mm. home and then came back out, and I think he shot that cop. But if, well, the, the well, best part about a patsy and stuff is the fact that you, you discredit him so much previously with, with, all, with his life, pretty much. That when he does get arrested and says he doesn't do it or whatever story he comes up with, it's already discredited. That's why a Patsy's always a guy like that. You want him to get arrested. You want to put the, the, the period at the end of the sentence. Why, then why not? And I'm playing devil's advocate because... Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> because the, 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 the ability to read somebody... First of all, he was a, a very loose cannon. And second of yeah. all, they let him leave... Why don't you just, if, if they're going to go through all this trouble, you don't let him get interrogated by the Dallas Police Department. Uh, and I think it was the uh, the chief of police who was a very good interrogator yeah. for two or three days and then hope that Ruby can get in and shoot him in between two. Like, what police department signs up I, I know, to allow yeah, a yeah. guy to be murdered between two of their officers? It is crazy. And they, they look like clowns. Right. You have him hang himself at home or you, you fucking you yeah. shoot him in the head and you fake a note. Yeah. Fuck Kennedy. I'm gone. Well, I don't think you're gone. I don't, th I don't think he was going home, though, Jimmy. Uh, uh, no, he did go home. I'm almost positive he went home. That He didn't go home. I'm almost positive he did go home and then went back out. Went out to I him. could be wrong, but I'm almost positive went he went home. Oh, you know what? I thought you meant after he was arrested. <laughs> no, no, no. After he uh, <laughs> shot, allegedly shot Kennedy or shot Kennedy. Yeah, he did. He, yeah. Okay, right. Yes. And then he shot Tippett. The, um, when, when you see Ruby... Downstairs in that uh, little ramp area that they're bringing uh, Oswald out, it, it's it's like a movie. It's like a fucking movie because the, it, that that just shouldn't have happened. Mm. They're talking before it even happened. The news guy on the spot is talking about security, the security measures that are in place. Uh, everyone down here is law enforcement. They're not letting people in. Uh, law enforcement or media. A lot of press down there, giant cameras and whatnot. Yeah. And then they bring the armored car, a fucking armored car. They back it up to the ramp where they're going to put Oswald in here because, in, as the reporter says, there are many death threats. There are people that want to kill this guy. And then here comes Ruby. la -da -dee, just strolls <laughs> up and shoots him. It's amazing that that happened. And it sounds crazy. Why was he allowed access? It must yeah. have been a setup. And then you read, and, and Bugliosi's book breaks it down well, how he got down there was because he knew the entire he just was, He knew them all. Yeah, cronies. Right. It's almost like when you see a celebrity out there and everyone's getting shooed away and I just stand there. Yeah. <laughs> because I know the people who are, are like, the, the, the <laughs> photographers. And the, not the celebrity, but I know the talent booker. They, I they, don't belong there, but I'm somehow, that's what it was. The they cops all knew had him. been down to his club so many they times. Knew Jack Ruby. Uh, doing... Uh, you know, code, uh, see if there was any code violations and stuff. And, you know, especially back then, 
There was probably some stuff, you know, on the arm, a few drinks, oh, a few course. of the ladies, whatever. Of uh, so they all knew him. And he was probably like, hey, man, you mind if I just hang out and watch him walk down? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, cool, hey, man, cool. Jack, just stay back there. It's cool. And then they're like, oh, my God, Jack just shot the fucking guy. Did, didn't John Kerry come out in recent days saying he has his He's doubts? gay? Uh, <laughs> oh, see, I... He, I think he has his doubts. Does he? That Oswald uh, acted alone. Well, he's an idiot. Was too, it John so. Kerry that mentioned that very, very recently? Yep. Yeah, what did it, what did it say? Because that's pretty interesting. Because Kerry's yeah. been around a real long fucking time. Yeah. Is, yeah. is this the clip? Yeah, he doubts How long Oswald it? worked alone. How long is the clip? Six and a half Boston. minutes. That uh, seems like far too long. Anderson yeah, Cooper. John Kerry's a fucking mm. bore. There was he also realized. that nurse that came out and was saying that there, there was another bullet... Uh, hit him. You didn't read that? She was, uh, really? she was one of the, uh, the uh, Parkland Memorial. This was yesterday I was reading this. And she said that there was <coughs> another bullet that hit the president. It was between the shoulder, the neck and ear somewhere. Really? And, uh, that bullet was never entered into evidence. And mm. she is a believer in some sort of conspiracy theory. So, again, you know, it's hard for me. Why to wouldn't they enter that into evidence? I don't know. I mean, that's yeah, this the, is... the problem I have with that, though, is when this was all happening, how did they know? All of these people intuitively know how many bullets were needed to make the conspiracy. Well, that's true. This was happening. Like, they didn't have the hindsight to look at. This was live. So right. all of a sudden, they bring in a, a, a fucking massacred president, and, and the operating doctor's like, okay, uh, we're going to have a commission come, and we're going to have to have three bullets. Uh, like, yeah, who's yeah. thinking that way with the fucking skull of a president in front of them? I don't, that's, I don't know. It's hard for me to, to, to put that... Because it was happening alive, and in that moment, you didn't know what was going to... How the fuck? They didn't know that one of the bullets had missed and, and fucking shot uh, and hit, uh, oh, my God, James Tate. Yeah, by the bridge, right? That was that came out after. Yeah, they, didn't, yeah. they didn't call that uh, person hit with that first bullet, so we need... We, there's only two. <laughs> uh, we need a third bullet, because Connolly got hit, and you're not going to find any fragments. Uh, let's do all this now <laughs> with the uh, still breathing but massacre president in front of you. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Patsy. We got the Patsy. Uh, we have a guy who owns a strip club and who has a drinking problem. Uh, he'll murder him between two of your police officers. Uh, I copy. Yeah, we're going to allow that to happen. Keep it up here. Hats. Ah. Keep it under your hat. What the fuck are people talking about? Like, <laughs> I, I, I understand how it looks fishy, but when you look at it logically, it, it, it's yeah. just too much. And there's too many simpler ways to do yeah, things. Yeah, that's right. true. Too many they, simpler ways. They showed uh, Zabruder uh, doing an interview with one of the uh, one of the newsmen in the old news studio, and uh, they asked him, you know, what did you see? And he describes it. Um, he knew right away. He knew right the fuck away that that was it. It was like, oh, they killed him. Yeah. He said you saw, you know, he, he, he saw the president grab his throat. He saw that. And then he said, and his, then his head just came apart. He goes, the insides of his head just came out. Yeah. So he, he fucking knew. And to have well, that on video or in film was amazing. What is John Kerry saying there in that six-minute clip? They got the quote at yeah. least. He's saying that he has serious doubts that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone, and then he says he certainly has doubts that he was motivated by himself. I'm not sure if anybody else is involved, but I have serious questions oh. about whether they got to the bottom of Lee Harvey Oswald's time and influence from Cuba uh, and Russia. So you, he's yeah. just saying, like, ah, uh, he listened to some shit and was influenced, and yeah. All right. With his history, Oswald... And if you're going to use that guy, who again had already shot at a public official, why do you let him get taken into custody? That whole Dallas Police Department was in on it. Fuck you. One no. of their cops was killed. Anyone who, what do you think, cops back then were different than they are now? They're people. Picture any cops you know going, hey, this guy murdered the president and he shot a guy in our department. But let's keep the conspiracy thing going. <laughs> you out of your fucking mind? Well, the uh, if there was a conspiracy, the... the um the people that put it together probably were using oh. the Dallas Police Department. Oh. Like I said, you you want it, you want any good conspiracy. I think you want it to take some kind of natural course. Sure. I don't think you want everything to be choreographed right. out. So you do as much setting up as you can, so you could kind of predict what's going to happen. Uh, aside from things like Ruby, I mean, I don't know. You know who the fuck knows what what happened and what was pre-planned, but 
when you set up a guy like Lee Harvey Oswald to be a, a, a communist, to be indecisive and crazy and all that stuff, you could then just let him go. And no matter what he says or does, there's going to be that either element of doubt or it's going to say, well, this figures he's a commie. So you don't really have to hang him in his house. You don't have to do it. He could have been locked up. And and to this day, be pleading his innocence. It doesn't matter at but that he, point. But if he was giving names, it would matter. Like, you're right to a point. But if all of a sudden that interrogator, and they said the guy was a very tough and smart interrogator. They didn't throw some bum in there with him. He said, oh, yeah, this is what happened. It was so-and-so from this and from that. Mm. Uh, and this is the progression. And this is who you can talk to. But none of that stuff happened. And he could have just said that to the press. And they could, people could go, well, all those notes could have been burned, you know. <laughs> he was allowed to talk to the fucking press. Right. Mm. One of these stands there and he starts going, there's a guy in the CIA named Bill Bellinger. And Bill Bellinger said, to him, you're going to take that well, chance and let this guy was, talk to the media? Maybe he was separated from the upper echelon of, of the conspiracy. Some lower level guys that if he gave names, they're just some dopey fucking guys that are... You know, as commie as he is and, you know, the people yeah. that he used to hang around with and hand out literature and shit like that. Why well, would know? he yell that he's innocent? Uh, I, I, I don't he know. probably expected I, to get away with it. Yeah, maybe. Like, right. so maybe he wasn't one of these de death by gun, uh, like, you know, suicide by cop things. He, yeah. he wanted but, to get away with it. But if he was part of a conspiracy, he ha has to know that there was a chance he was going to get caught. Yeah. Maybe so why didn't. are you yelling, you know, I'm innocent, I'm innocent? But that's that, the whole thing. Maybe at he that didn't point, even, you suck it up, right? Maybe he didn't even know he was part of a conspiracy. I don't know. Yeah. It's one of those things. And that's been looked at. Every, every yeah. scenario has been looked at. And now the whole at. thing has been watered down because it's right, been right. 50 years. Yeah. You don't even know what's real and right and wrong anymore technology or a lot of stuff a little you don't bit, know though. some of the technology with the photos yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. actually like the longer the time that is and that's what's kind of convinced me against it was all these things that looked convincing when computers have examined the photos, you're like, well, that, again, I've said it before, that thing, Black Dog Man, was like some little figure that looked like it was a figure in the grassy you knoll. Is this yeah. Black Dog? Because it looked like a Black, black Dog. Right. Dog that, Man. They have all these weird names, Umbrella Man and fucking Babushka Lady, whatever the fuck uh, she was called. Uh, you know? The all worst superheroes ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Umbrella Woman. Yeah. Didn't we meet her? Uh, 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 no, Beverly Oliver, her name is no. There was one of those uh, people that were, were, they just hang out at Dealey Plaza now. When I oh. went down there with my brothers, I'd, I'd have to ask them. We met, we met a few of those people because yeah. they have nothing else to do with their lives so every day they go down to Dealey Plaza and hang out and take pictures oh with gosh. everyone that's going down there checking out the yeah. scene yeah yeah I, I, think, I think she's one of them that used to go down there oh, she's still alive but we did it about uh, I'm trying to think about 2004 uh, or 5 maybe mm. yeah about 8 or 9 years ago we did it so. yeah yeah. So the, these photos, the one photo of the the thing that looks like the outline and the knoll, like the computers did this thing, and they said if that was a real guy, he would have been two and a half feet tall. It's like oh, so many. Oh, right. That's so, a conspiracy right it's there. Just a little guy. Why like couldn't they get guy. a little uh, midget or something? Fell out. Little just fella. to really, really fuck, fuck people up. The tiniest assassin. <laughs> <laughs> this teeny little gun. Yeah. Blows oh, them back into the shrubs. Adorable. <laughs> Speaking of little little fellas, did you see our our pal uh, Progeria Sam? From the HBO oh, documentary at the Bruins game. Oh, did you see this picture? Bruins jersey on. He looks even Next older to than he did. He looks even older than he did in this fucking documentary. Poor little kid. Uh, uh, three in. Away. Three little, in. Little mayfly. Yeah, that one. That's the one. That is unbelievable. Did they throw um? Does throw it... any hits at him? <laughs> Put him against the boards. Little Pajiria <laughs> Sam has a Bruins jersey on, and there he's taking a picture with Char. And uh, somebody from the, the Maple Leafs. So right. Start getting into a brawl in the middle of the ice. And winning. Punching him in the head. <laughs> yeah. When he starts winning, with the, when you find out he's a really dirty little player, he takes a stick and he's chopping ankles and throats. And biting crotches. <laughs> <laughs> he just slipped on the ice and broke every bone in his body. Oh, he would, too. Oh, they got to be careful. Isn't that unbelievable? Careful. That kid's, that kid's 17. 17. He looks he's like tiny. a little old codger. Tiny old man. <laughs> you can find the picture. It's online. I tweeted over the weekend. It's everywhere. Go check it out if you haven't. It's he can pretty much go to whatever he wants to. Hey, I'd like to fucking, you know. Well, we talked about it. this out. And he picks a Dave Matthews concert. Well, what the hell's wrong with him? Just because you have progeria doesn't mean you have good taste. Exactly. <laughs> but you can pick anybody. I know. Go meet the Stones. What are you What are you doing? Wasting it on Dave Matthews. Yeah. Oh, gee. Look at that. Good old uh, Sam up Look there in uh, Boston. Look at him his little suit. Pajurious Sam. Still going strong, huh? Well, oh, he's as strong as you can go. Yeah, but I mean... Pajuria. He, he might be the longest survivor ever. 
What a bitch to have a disease that like 250 people in the whole world have it because no one really, it's not that urgent. You know, you're not like, well, we got to. Right. People love uh, saving uh, quantities of people. Well, you know? if it happens in your family, it's ridiculous. Well, urgent. yeah, then it's and, really and, urgent. And you got to be really frustrated that no one listens to you. Yeah. Although in this case, they listen to the lady. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Her she research a good story and her research could help you know everybody. Yeah, she's really looking into the whole aging thing in general. Yeah, that's her her shoe in there. If you could say, well, you know, it could help my kid, but uh, hey, it might help humans as far as aging goes. Then they're right. like, all right, let's jump on it. Remember the other uh, story where the the girl never aged? We just uh, talked about yeah. her, and, and I think the next day she died. Yikes! Twenty, she I was... think she was twenty years old, and she. She never really aged past the age of, I don't know, like she five or like, six. Could she, she talk like at all? Five year old. No, she, no was, man. she was pretty retarded. Oh, oh, as oh. They say. Yeah, but she wasn't aging physically. No, really, she looked really, like. Really creepy. She looked like a toddler. And we were talking about her, and then like a day or two later. That was it. She died at the age of 20. Yes. I think that what she had was even rarer than the progeria. Oh, yeah. I, I think they didn't even know what the fuck she had. Like, at least they could identify this. They had no clue what the fuck she had. They had never seen it. Mm -hmm. Like one in the, in, in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be that. You want to be the one in the world person. No. Jesus. Hey, this is baby McLittle Tot. <laughs> That's good. Thanks. That's good, Todd. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to call you and do a prank. I was at your store and I was ga-ga-gooing. I don't remember that. Yeah, and a man came over. He goes, what do you want? And I said, my cunt's too small. <laughs> and we'll be back after these messages. The Opie and Anthony Show, Sirius XM. All right, well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.